Yes, we're going to be discussing today heat damage hair. This is the series. And so I tell you, guys, we have truly touched what um, heat damage hair look like, was supposed to look like, you know, because again, you know, what the consumer, what the client would think would be heat damage hair, um, nine times out of 10 is not heat damaged. And so we discussed and talked about what that looked like as well as, you know, what heat damage was back in the day. Okay, and we all, well, I can't say we all know. I want to say what, like that 45 on up would know. <laughs> and um, and I would say, you know, for the remaining portion of everyone else, hi there. Thank you for joining with me. You know, pretty much um, you guys are from this world of the flat iron. And so, you know, very different, very different tools that they were using during that time frame. And so, again, my name is Morello Kane. I am the founder of The Hair Debate, the author of Seven Love Languages of Hair. And so when I tell you, I have been a master cosmetologist for over 20 years. And so when, when, when it comes to hair care, that's my business. Let me just say that. You know, and, and I have to say, I almost like have a fetish when it comes to um, healthy hair and what it feels like. You know, I love, love feeling healthy hair. And I know what it takes it to um, sustain and maintain healthy hair. And so today we have, again, um, this is our third week on heat damaged hair. And so when it comes to heat damaged hair, and if you think that you may have heat damaged hair, you may have a question and you're wondering, okay, what what can I do? Okay, what can I do with, you know, strands that are not consistent on my head? And so let me just say that, remember now, um, as we spoke before, you know, people have different hair textures on the hair. Okay, people have different hair textures on the hair. And so do not be surprised if you have a section of your hair that may have a tighter or looser curl pattern than the rest. Okay, but now how you deal with these different strands truly depends on how you're going to wear your hair. Okay, and so, you know, what do you do about heat damaged hair? First, you would have to know 100% that it is heat damaged hair. Okay, and so if that hair is, you know, without, you know, the plenish of moisture, so it's dry, it's brittle, um, when you do put moisture on it, it does nothing. Okay, so it's, it's not going into the hair strand. It does nothing still dry. Um, truly, you can really tell what um, how damaged that hair is when you actually put heat to it. And so if you go to curl, um, if the hair is straight, okay, say, if, you know, you may um, think that you have heat damaged hair. Okay, but say if the hair is straight and you take a part of that and you just kind of turn it under with, you know, medium heat, turn it on under if that hair does not turn under is brittle okay that hair is damaged because heat damaged hair will not curl period okay and when i say will not curl i'm not talking about loose curl pattern or wave is is just is real is dry and is brittle and won't do anything and truly you can tell and you would know if the hair is straight and, and if you cannot sustain, if, if you're curling your hair under and it will not curl under. Okay, so that hair is not even receptive to any moisture in holding a curl. So that hair must be cut off. That is true. It does. Okay, but a lot of you, you know, may have a different curl pattern, a soft wave. The hair is curling and you are assuming that it is heat damaged because it's just a different texture, uh, you know, um, a looser curl pattern. It may have a wave to it. Okay, so let's talk about what could create that. Say if you were to twist your hair. Now understand that hair has memory. Okay, so if you two strand twist in the hair and you get to the ends of that hair, okay, again, hair has memory. And so what you will want to do is, you know, you're going to have to retrain that hair. And so we're going to talk about that as well. So let's talk about different strands of hair if you are wanting to wear your hair natural. 
Because let me just say how you are styling your hair, how you're going to wear your hair the majority of the time is going to determine um, what the ref what the result would be in regarding on how you would handle the different textures in that hair. So let's talk about the natural hair. If you're wanting to wear your hair natural, okay, so you're wearing your hair natural. All right, so now in understanding that natural hair, that hair has memory, okay, what you will want to do, if you wanted to do a natural style, you will first want to um, wet your hair. Okay, you don't want to use water, all right? You do, Because water has drying agents in it. So you don't want to use water. What you want to use is a leave-in conditioner. Because what you want to always remember is that you're wanting to feed your hair. Thank you for joining and being a part of this show. So what you want to know, do is that you want to constantly remember that, okay, I want to feed my hair. Okay, so with that being said, again, you don't want to use water because water has drying agents in it. What you want to use is a leave-in conditioner. Okay, so you put the leave-in conditioner in and then you want to use a creamy moisturizer. One that would um, manipulate and really truly bring out um, work those curls. Okay, so that's what you want to use. Okay, so you put that product in your hair. Depending upon how you wanted to style the hair. So say if you wanted to um, do some flat twists. Okay, you so you 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 flat twist in the hair, starting from the front, going to the back, okay, you flat twisting and you have those ends. What you wanted to do then at that point is take either a roller or a flexor rod and curl the ends of that hair. Okay, because again, what you're having to do at this point in time is retrain your hair. Okay, so now you may want to try something different. You know, you want to, you may want to um, try to wear then your natural curls. So, you know, you may want to either, you could do a couple of things. You could kind of finger those curls through. Okay, or you could kind of manipulate those curls with that product in your hair. Okay, now let me just say this. What truly works, a lot of times we want to pick up the hair dryer, the um, blow dryer. You know, you want to kind of blow dry, you want to try to hurry up. But when you blow and dry that hair, you stretching and elongating that curl. Okay? You are stretching and elongating that curl. So you're wondering why that the consistency is different. Okay, maybe it's, it's in the hair dryer that you're using. Okay, so with your hair dryer, what you want to do is buy a diffuser to go on the end of that dryer. Now, a lot of times, it's, 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 it looks crazy, real crazy. Okay, got the horns and everything kind of coming from it. Okay, but what you want to do is place it on the end. What it does is it, it, it distributes the air out evenly, okay, at a lower pace, okay, slower pace. And then what you want to do is then... As you are drying that hair, okay, you're not elongating it, you're scrunching it at the same time with that diffuser. And you're going to set it in the position that it's in. Because once that hair is wet and it dries, whatever pattern that is in is how it is set. Okay, and it's going to stay like that until you re-wet it and it re-dries again. So, those of you that would twist your hair up and you have those strands that's elongated, okay, you just kind of leave it there and you just hoping, uh, we will hope and pray, you just hoping that, you know, that the curl pattern would then at some point in time come there and set, it will not. That's not how it works. Again, because again, you having to elongate, scrunch, okay, and that's what you want them to do. All right, you you are wanting to, if if I want this to scrunch, you see the effects of what scrunching we do, okay? And, and that's exactly what I'm talking about, okay? You want to work that curl pattern into each other as such, all right? And that's exactly what you do. But then you also want to take that diffuser again and diffuse those curls in place, so that's what you wanted to do. And so not knowing again on how to 
on what blow dryer to use, not the blow dryer, again, a diffuser, and understanding the fact that you have to scrunch, okay, and get those curls in place. Now, understand this, when it comes to um, making sure that your hair is moisture balanced, you first want to start off with the protein, okay? And so, be consistent with that. I, I don't understand why I, there are individuals that are against having protein treatments, but protein helps to truly feed the hair, give it strength, as well as for it to be moisture balanced. Okay, because once that hair is moisture balanced, you can definitely tell at how the hair is defined, how that curl pattern is defined is according to the moisture in the hair. So maybe that hair is not moisture balanced right then because just because you put product in your hair, moisturizer does not mean that the hair instantly comes back moisture balanced just like that. And we tend to think so because we put all this power in these products Yes, products does help to feed the hair, but do understand too, okay, that it has to be a foundation and that balance there and understand that if the hair is deplenished of moisture, it has to get moisture balanced and allow the system to correct itself. Allow those products to get into the air strand and, and correct itself, repair itself and it takes time so oh this is going to teach you patience will will teach you patience okay so now um so so in understanding that there's a difference when you are wanting to to wear your hair now let me hair natural versus straight now straight hair i want to say if you wear your hair straight 95 percent of the time why are you truly concerned about um, having different curl patterns within your hair. Now, definitely you want their hair healthy, okay? So you're going to do the same regimen as if somebody was wearing their hair in a natural curl pattern, all right? So, yes, you're going to do the protein, okay? You're going to, you know, clip your ends, um, make, making sure that you're moisturizing your hair. But definitely, if you wear your hair straight 95% of the time, why be concerned? Because your hair is straight all the time anyway, Okay, so so again, you know, if you're wearing your hair straight 95% of the time, then again, it's making sure that your hair, okay, is moisture balanced. Now, again, last week we talked about what was a safe heat. And we talked about how straightening the combs being, you know, made out of brass on that heat, all right, they determine then what was considered heat damage according to putting that, Straighten the comb, wrapping it around tissue paper to see if it will burn that paper. And if it actually scorched that paper, then it was too hot. But as we see here, that flat iron sat on there. And again, it is not. And so going to a professional, again, um, to get your hair straightened is the key because they will know how long to keep that flat iron sitting on that strand of hair. But then understanding, too, that these tools have evolved. Okay, the tools have evolved. And understanding, too, that protein, moisture, in it all is the key. Okay, so again, there we go. There we go. Okay, so it is understanding that. Again, my name is Morello Kane. We are talking about heat damaged hair. This is the series for it. All right, next week, come with your questions. Three weeks in a row, we've been talking about heat damaged hair. I know you guys have questions for me. I'm receiving them. Thank you to my, my clients have texted me some. I've received some in my DM. Thank you for that. And we will be touching those questions next week. Digging, you guys should have a complete understanding about heat damaged hair. If you don't do, again, DM me in the questions you have. My name is Morello Kane. This is the Hair Debate, the platform where we debunk, debate, and discover all things hair.